Yo, what's going on YouTube? Jarrett here, Beer and Deadlifts, and I just want to talk for a couple minutes about the Arnold 2018 Pro Strongman results. That's the Arnold Classic. Uh, I enjoyed watching the live stream of a few of the events last weekend on it, and I just want to talk a little bit about what I thought in regards to the competition and regards to the placings. So, I thought it was really cool that Hafthor Bjornsson won overall. He's actually the first man that doesn't come from the United States or Lithuania to win the Arnold Strongman Classic. Uh, Zadrina Savickas from Lithuania has won eight of them. Vitautas Lalas has won, I think, one or two. And every other person that's won the Arnold Strongman Classic since it started in 2002 has been American besides those two guys, including Mark Henry, uh, Brian Shaw, uh, we got Derek Poundstone, and... Uh, I think that might be it for Americans. There's probably one or two I'm forgetting. Um, so yeah, the events were the uh, sandbag over bar. They had multiple weights going up to about 100 pounds on that over, I think it was a 15 foot bar. Uh, then it was the natural stone to shoulder, two, uh, 410 pound stone, natural stone. They had to shoulder it for as many reps as possible. I thought that was an incredible inclusion into the Arnold this year. And then they had the timber carry, they took out the straps, made it a little lighter, and they had to charge up the ramp with the 900 pound timber uh, frame carry. Uh, they also had the elephant bar deadlift, which is a longer version of the barbell, um, using regular plates off the floor. Uh, it's got a little more whip to it, which makes it come off the floor easier, but at the lockout, it's a much more shaky. And then the last event was the Apollon's Wheels, which is an axle clean and press with the uh, weights being welded onto the uh, apparatus. So it was very hard to clean and press it due to it um, not rotating as you clean it. Uh, like I said, I, I'm really uh, happy for Half Thor Bjornsson. This, this is his first big win. He's came second place many times in, in Arnold Classic and uh, World's Strongest Man. And uh, he hasn't really had a real big win yet, so this is his first big win. I think that he could also have a good shot of World's Strongest Man victory. Um, another good shot, obviously, is uh, Brian Shaw and Zadrinus Savickas. Zadrinus is looking like he's coming back into shape here. Um, his log press is looking great. Uh, his other events are looking pretty good on Instagram. So we might be able to see uh, a return from the 43-year-old man uh, in World's Strongest Man this year. So the bag over bar, I thought that was a pretty cool event. Um, I think it's a little light for strongman standards. It's less than 100 pounds. It, it, it shows good triple extension, explosive power. Taller athletes obviously have a little bit of an advantage due to better leverage. Um, the taller you are and the longer your limbs are, the more leverage you're gonna be able to provide onto the apparatus in terms of height. And also, if you raise your arm straight up in the air, a man who's five foot five versus a man who's six foot nine, the man who's six foot nine will have less distance to travel to the bar than a man who's like five foot five. So again, taller athletes have the advantage there. Hathor Bjornsson won the event, Brian Shaw coming second, no surprise there, the two tallest guys in the competition. Uh, overall, the event was okay. I, I didn't love watching it, and they could replace it with something else, and I would be more entertained. Uh, second event was the natural stone load, or natural stone to shoulder. That thing was insane. Uh, I thought that that was badass as hell. I mean, it's just hard to pick that thing up and throw it on your shoulder. Uh, Kieliskowski got multiple reps on that and he is only like a 330 pound dude from Poland like that was ridiculous and then the big guys like um, Brian Shaw he couldn't even get one to his shoulder which was a little bit of an upset I think uh, he should have been able to at least get one but it was cool to see uh, some of these big strong guys that you think would crush something like that and they all struggled with it I think only one or two got a few reps uh, many people zero they gave partial credits if you picked it up uh, they gave you more credit if you lapped it. They gave it more credit if you got it to your chest. So they had like a weird scoring system, which I'm not sure I agree with. Maybe they got to revisit that one, but it was a cool event to watch. Uh, the next event was a timber carry. Jerry Pritchett's run on the timber carry was ridiculous. I remember watching that and being like, holy crap, dude. Like he just sprinted up that ramp with a 900 pound frame like it was nothing. And Honestly, I didn't see that coming from him. I mean, he's got a good deadlift. He's got pretty good grip strength, but I don't think he's been that good in the timber carry. But, hey, uh, he pulled it off, and uh, he didn't do that great overall in the competition, but that timber carry was definitely the highlight of his competition along with his deadlift. 
Uh, next is uh, the elephant bar deadlift. And I thought that was a brilliant event too. I've seen it before in the past. It's very cool. The old record belonged to Jerry Pritchett of 1,031 pounds. And uh, it was cool to see Half Thor Bjornsson smoke 1,041 pounds for a 10 more pound world record. Uh, on Shaw's second attempt on the elephant bar carry, it did not look fast. I think that he opened too high and his second attempt was too aggressive. And he tried to go for five pounds more than Half Thor. And honestly, like based on that second attempt, I was like, he's, there's no way he's going to make that. Uh, and he didn't. He only got it a few inches off the ground. So it was cool to see Half Thor win the deadlift. Uh, his deadlift has come a long way, and then his pressing was also weak in the past, but that has come a very big way, leading us to the final event, the Apollon's Wheel. Uh, Brian Shaw looked amazing in the Apollon's Wheel. He smoked three reps with it, and everyone else was struggling with like one or two, and most people got zero. Half Thor put on a pressing clinic though got four reps pretty handily secured the win on the event secured the win overall to win the arnold he's looking in great shape he's young he's not even 30 yet i don't believe or barely 30 and he's got many more years of strong man to go uh that's all i've got pretty much for today i just want to talk about the arnold strongman 2018 results uh what i thought about it uh i would like to see the sandbag go away that was it was different but I don't know. It's not like too strong, Manny, for me. Put that in the Highland Games con competitions. That's that's what uh, that's where that belongs. But whatever. I'm not the I'm not the boss here. They can do whatever they want. It's their competition. Natural Stone was really cool. Uh, maybe just tweak a little bit of the judging. It was a little crazy. Um, Elephant Bar was good. Timber Care was good. And Axel Clean and Press. If you know my channel, you know I love the Axel Clean and Press. One of my favorite overhead events. So. That's obviously really cool. So that's all I got. Uh, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button below. If you want to see more of my content, I do a lot of lifting stuff. I'm going to start doing some how-to videos. I'm going to start incorporating a little more content onto my channel. Hit the subscribe button. And if you got any comments about the Arnold Classic, you disagree with what I say, put it in the comments below. Uh, I'm not going to say that I agree with your disagreement, but I'll acknowledge it. And I'm usually pretty nice about people disagreeing with me. And if you agree with anything I said, put it in the comments below as well. Uh, Alright guys, I'm done. I'm talked out. Peace.